Hello, New Apple Times here, welcome to a new video and today I have here my iPhone 5S with the iOS 12 beta installed and yes, we're going to have a look at the Voice Memos app As you know, Apple has completely redesigned it in iOS 12 and it's now compatible with the iPad and the Mac Of course, all your Voice Memos will be synced in iCloud Besides from that, it got a lot of interface tweaks and we're going to see them in this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, here is my iPhone 5S with iOS 12 installed. And I also have here laying around my iPhone 8 Plus with iOS 11, so we can make some comparisons. So, first and most noticeable is a new icon in the home screen, which is a lot nicer. I'm going to show you the old one here. You can see this is the old one, this is the new one. And yeah. If we jump straight into it, you will see a way clearer interface. Let's compare it with the old one. Yeah, so here, well, you have all your voice memos, I don't have any right now, and you have the recently deleted tab, to which, for some reason, I can jump right now, it's an iOS 12 bug, but we're going to proceed to, to record a new one. So as you can see, this is the interface when you're recording a voice memo and you can tap this and it will go here here you can of course change the name and play it or skip 15 seconds back, 15 seconds forward or delete it and then in these three buttons you can edit the recording which will allow you to trim it or replace some part of it or yeah, trim it doesn't seem to work either but remember this is a beta and click done and it's done then you can also duplicate it and it will create a duplicate and share it to wherever app you want so this is quite nice also if we jump to recently deleted tab you can see all the recordings that you have deleted and you can permanently delete them from there also a really nice thing is that you can play them from the recently deleted uh, section so you don't have to recover it to play also a really annoying thing is that the swipe back to to go back doesn't seem to work I hope it gets fixed because before the final version and yeah here in edit you can select multiple and basically delete them and they will go to the recently deleted which I can't open for some reason you can also search also in this new one we can jump into settings and we have a section that's specifically dedicated to voice memo so if we scroll all the way down we will see here voice memos and if we go to it it wants to access your location and Siri so you can ask Siri for recording a voice memo here you have the shortcut version you can also set up background and refresh and the voice memo settings are probably the most interesting you can automatically clear the deleted uh, voice memos after a certain amount of time or change the audio quality which is pretty good you can either record them compressed or lossless which is pretty nice and lastly you can enable this location based naming and what it will do is when you create a new voice memo it will give it the name of the location you're in and last but not least, uh, with iOS 12 and macOS Mojave, this app will also be available on the Mac and on the app, which I really like because I, for my videos, I normally record uh, some voice memos. Right now, what I have to do is recording on my iPhone, use AirDrop, AirDrop it to the Mac, add it to Final Cut, but that way I will have it directly on the Mac and I won't have to be switching devices, which seems pretty cool. Also, all the the voice memos will be synced in iCloud, so you get the same on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. So that's pretty neat too. If we compare it to the old uh, voice memos app, here you can see we can record a new one, which doesn't have such a cool interface, and stop it. And then it's kind of messy because well, you can trim it here. trim trim and you can click done and you will be asked the name 
and then right here you can share it and delete it or edit it again so yes it's uh, I actually prefer the new interface better I really like this recording interface with the black and the red it looks really good for me so this has been everything I wanted to show you now let's go in the video so as you saw Apple really packed the new voice memos up with a lot of new features and interface tweaks which in my opinion are way nicer than the old ones so what do you think? Do you like the new voice memos app or do you prefer the old one better? Let me know down below in the comments. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with the latest news and even be able to vote which videos you want me to post. If you like what you saw, thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content coming at least twice a week. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.